We go to our next to last pass car race of the year here at Paris Auto Speedway. It's a 20 lap street stock made, and this is your lineup starting out of the pole, Otto Ramona, the black 28 of Dan Burakowski. Right, next to him, number one out of Reno Valley, Doug Kelly. Row number two on the inside is Casey Beerfelt, the Camaro out of Highland, number 18. And next to him, car X, that's George Labentis out of Rancho Palos Verdes. In row number three on the inside, it's the number 39 car. That's Jason Andrew. He's from Hemet. With him in that row, the 98, a two-time champion on Reno Valley. That is Brandon Kelly. In the fourth row on the inside, Stefan Davies, the number 77 car. Outside him, it'll be the 3D Evan Sennett out of Riverside, one of the heat race winners. Then go back to row number five on the inside. It's the number 47 car, Cameron Pierce out of Lake Matthews. With Cam Cameron in that row, the number 51 from Cherry Valley, Steve Patton. And rounding out the field, it is car number two. That's James Altman Jr. out of Riverside. And starting shotgun on the field in 12th, because he won the last main event here during the fair. It's now the now two-time champion, the 65 out of Rancho Palos Verdes, the other heat race winner tonight, Chris Leventis. That's your lineup, the last pass car street stock main event of the year, and we'll leave that one open, open-ended. So here they come. They're going to get the signal for one to go before we go green from Steve Russell. After this, it's the Super Stock Final main event of the year. My pick in this one, I'll say the X car off the outside of row number two. Green flag. George LeBennis around the top of the racetrack. He takes the lead going into turn number one. Doug Kelly running in second. His son Brandon in third in the 98. Now Brandon takes over second. Evan sent it the 3D car. He's trying to take third. Running in fourth. It's a 28 of Burakowski. Oh, contact in the corner. Patton getting the worst of that. See the front bumper on the Patton car. That's the white and red number 51 bunched up on the hood. Chains for the lead down the back straight like Brandon Kelly, the two-time champ, is out front. Two in the books. Why Patton again getting beat around. You know, he's rubbing metal with the 47 of Pierce. And Pierce gets by Patton. And the front end, the front bumper comes off the 51 car. We're going to go yellow. That came off the 51. Steve Patton, who got tangled up in turn four on the first lap. And it lasted one more lap before it finally sailed off the car. The front nose comes off the 51. 51, that's your... Two laps down. Going green next time by. Your leader is Brandon Kelly. George Levin is second. Evan Sennett third. Doug Kelly fourth. Andrew fifth. Sixth spot. It is Burakowski. Seventh spot. Davies. Eighth spot. It is Pierce. Ninth spot. Chris Here we go. Kelly brings him to the pylon slow. Now he gets on the loud pedal. Back to racing. 18 laps remaining. Took a peek at the outside. Hey, Kelly had him covered. Stefan Davies, the number 77, George Bolden car, moves up to fifth. Andrew running in sixth. Lebenis, who sewed up the championship at the fair race, currently running back in eighth in the Silver 65. Now Brandon Kelly puts a little distance between himself and the second place car as the 3D Evan Senna starts to close in on that second place car.
Doug Kelly still running in the fourth place spot, but the 77, Stephon Davies, has moved in on him. Seven down this time by, there's 13 laps remaining. for the 51 car in turn number four. We may have, we're going to have to go yellow. Oh, right in front of the leaders. Flat right front tire on this 51 of Patton. And we didn't go yellow. That allowed George of Venice to close in on the 98 car and it also allowed for the Venice and the 98 car to pull away from the 3D. Patton's going to take his car into the pit area. Stephon Davies way sideways off the corner. He gets passed by both the 47 Pierce and the 65 of Chris Leventis. Then Kelly goes way up by the crash wall. That allows Cameron Pierce to get a run on him. Challenge for the lead. Here comes George of Venice. He gets by Brandon Kelly. Now Kelly working the wide line, going to try to steal the lead back, going down the back straight away, not going to happen, but Venice beats him down the back chute. Well, they're duking it out. Here comes Senate in the 3D, closing back in. Lap traffic not too far away for the leaders as we hit the halfway point in the race. Fourth spot is Pierce, fifth Chris Levena, sixth spot Davies, seventh spot Doug Kelly, eighth spot is Andrew, ninth spot is Burakowski, tenth spot it is Bierfeld, running at eleventh, that's Altman. Patton has that tire change, he's headed back to the speedway. Now it's going to get interesting. Lap car right in front of the leaders. He's running the top line. Brandon Kelly going to the inside of the Venice as they try to go to the inside of the lap car. Kelly wisely gives the leader a little bit of distance and that makes sure everybody makes it through the corner. Now the leader's going after the 18 of Burakowski to put him a lap down. Pat in the 51 car back on the racetrack. Brandon Kelly takes the lead back. Now Kelly's going to try to thread the needle. Three of us coming off turn number two. And second place, George Levantis gets turned around. That's the five, uh, the X car, George Levantis, right in front of the Bud's tire sign, turned around on the back straightaway. And that was all in another flat right front tire on Patton. He just changed that. Is Kelly, Brandon Kelly, second at Senate, third it's Pierce, fourth it's Chris Levinis, fifth spot it is Davies, sixth spot Doug Kelly, Andrew seventh, Bierfeld eighth, ninth Burakowski, tenth Altman, eleventh it is George Levinis. Now some of those cars are a lap behind, so George Levinis is in front of some of those cars that he's starting behind. We go green. Great restart for Brandon Kelly. Cameron Pierce in third, looking for his best ever Paris Auto Speedway finish. Should stay in the street stock class, looking for his best ever Paris Auto Speedway finish. He did run some factory stocks, and he may have won a main event there. That's the 47 car in third. Boy, Senek hammering the cushion. That allows Pierce to move a little bit closer. And he better get moving because behind him is the now two-time track champion, Chris Leventis. Problems for Altman. That car's been having issues since it got here, got unloaded in hot laps. Four laps remaining. straightaway lead. Now Chris Levanis goes to the inside of Pierce going into turn number three. Yeah, 
And the kid hanging tough with the veteran. Two to go next time by. And Pierce fights off the track champion. White flag the next time for Brandon Kelly. Now he's extended that lead to nearly a half straightaway. Meanwhile, back in third, Pierce has pulled back away from Leventis. And Leventis now, running in fourth, gets challenged by the 77, Stephon Davies for fourth. This year, Brandon Kelly finished fifth five times, but this is going to be his first win of the year. The victory goes to Brandon Kelly. Second spot will be Senate, third spot Pierce, fourth spot Chris Lebanis, fifth it is Davies, sixth Doug Kelly, seventh George Lebanis, eighth it's Pierre Felt, ninth spot is Andrew, and tenth Burakowski. And no time on that one due to the yellow flags. Yeah, Brandon Kelly getting unbuckled, getting ready to talk to Stephen Fangmeyer. He's out of the car. He can hear you now. Make some noise for Brandon Kelly. Stephen? Brandon, you started towards the front, but they didn't make that easy on you. Oh, no, no. It took a little bit of work to get around them, but, man, this car was running good. It felt like Jerry was in there with me. You know, Scott, uh, as mentioned earlier, this is your first win of the year. Um, running Jerry Dodd's number, Jerry Dodd's colors. I know the Dodd family was instrumental in you guys in your racing career. Why don't you uh, take a moment and speak to uh, kind of what all this means? Well, we uh, uh, we had a whole bunch of stuff going on with this thing. It wasn't set up right, and we figured the track was going to be super tacky, so we'd leave it alone and come run it because this is real good on a tacky track. And uh, you know, we we. Played around with the little motor and some more suspension stuff, and you know, I have uh, all the Dodd family to thank for helping us get this thing where it is and teaching us all the fun stuff. We got Tom Davis who helps us with the setup, and Jack, Jack Dodd, and uh, Luke Dodd helped us get into these cars and get going and make all this real fun. Well, congratulations, sir. It was well earned. And uh, what are your plans for the off season and getting into next year? Well, I also have to dedicate this to my father-in-law. He passed away this last year. For Jerry and my father-in-law, we got it good. Next year, they're going to, uh, sorry about that. Uh, next year, they're uh, changing the class up possibly, but so we'll see what we're going to do. And who knows, maybe we'll be in the super stock next year. We'll look forward to seeing what uh, the future holds. And, uh, you know, like we kind of talked about earlier, um, our family, our friends are with us in the highs, they're with us in the lows. This racing, uh, it's, a, it's amazing the way it brings everybody together, and I know they were riding along with you. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Mr. Chris? How are you? Congratulations on your second championship here in the past car street stocks. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. I know guys like us, you know, we got a face for radio, but they still want to see us. Yeah, yeah. No, it was a good track tonight. We did the best we could to catch him, but a lot of cars to go through before I got there. You know, starting as far back as he had to, you definitely had your work cut out for you, Brandon and uh, and George. They uh, they were set on kill, running right, you know running away to hide from everybody, and knew that you guys were coming. And they got into a lot of traffic and kind of gave you guys a chance, and then well, it didn't happen. That's all right, man. They got it up. There's always another day. There's always another day. Rusty, you need to stand up again. Is that Rusty Stewart? Yeah. Scott, that is Rusty Stewart that, that helps Chris with his car. Yes. Yeah, he does. It's a good hand. Well, why don't you take another opportunity, Chris? Uh, sponsors are never underrated. Uh, I know we went through this earlier, but why don't you, why don't you uh, give him a shout-out? Well, Chris is hauling, and that's about it. I'm my own sponsor, so there you go. I guess you don't have to work to impress yourself too hard, right? No. 
No, I just like to come out and have fun. This is fun. We well, have a lot of fun out there. Congratulations, and uh, we'll see you next year. Thank you, Stephen Fangmeyer. Congratulations to Brandon Kelly, finally getting the job done here tonight at Paris Auto Speedway. And, of course, to the champion this year for the second year in a row, Chris LeVinas.